ESPN presents College Football 81. Today from Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska, a windy day. It is a nifty lines of Penn State, number three ranked in the country against the Corn Huskers of Nebraska. A wind of 15 miles an hour, Penn State won the toss and is elected to receive. So Nebraska kicking off will have the wind at its back. And by the time we hit the fourth quarter, that could be a big thing. Kevin Seibel will kick it off with Warner, the deep man in the center. John Williams on one side, Joel Coles on the other side. And this will be Warner, who has got four four speed for the 40, taking it to the two-yard line. The tailback to Penn State tries to get outside and is dragged down across the way. Led today by Todd Blackledge, the sophomore, number 14. Mike Mead is your fullback. Kurt Warner, who just returned to kick the tailback. Kenny Jackson, well now, will be the flanker back. And Terry Rakowski filling in for the split end. Kevin Bow will be your split end. Tight end is Vito Cab, Conts Munchak, a great guard. Romano center, Farrell, the All-American guard. At right and Laub. Nebraska was offside on the kickoff. Uh, Penn State uh, electing to take the penalty. Uh, Warner took the last kick, remember, from the 40 on the 2. This is from the 35. And this one is going to go deeper. That is right. Warner will track it down in the end zone. So that'll be Jimmy Williams, who really bedeviled him a year ago at left end. His brother Toby Williams at tackle. Jeff Merrill, who started at uh, nose guard, middle guard last week, will be there again today. Stromack starting over the injured Henry Waxter at tackle. And Tony Felici, who had an outstanding game last week, including returning a fumble for a touchdown, is at the other end. We've got a man down on the field, so let's keep on going with the Nebraska defense. Linebackers, Dan Kroger, the strong side, and Brent Evans filling in for the injured Steve McWhorter on the weak side. Two tight ends. Oh, that is Meade at fullback. Lost the football, Blackledge. Flag goes down, Blackledge got the ball. And I go back to what Jim Romano said. Gee, when you look around and see all that big red, it's a different ball game. Joe Paterno has never defeated Nebraska. He's 0-2. Second down, long yardage. Warner, first time. Warner, big hole. Gets across the 20 out to the 23. They're both in there. Not the eye formation. Split backs. Blackledge on a handoff to Williams. Williams has to get to the 30 and does not. They'll have to kick the ball away. It's last week against Ron Stark at Florida State. Dr. Barrow, flags are down as the ball bounds only to the 47-yard line. The line. We get a signal. And that'll give the ball back to Penn State. No score. First two minutes of the ball game. Back to the eye formation. Gets by Coles. Here he goes down the sidelines. Krejci is after him. Krejci is the first man to hit him. Jeff Krejci. Williams has now come in. He is at fullback, number 44. There are actually two tailbacks in there now on first down at the 28-yard line. And there's Williams for a yard or two, and that is about all. Second down, nine to go. No score. First quarter. To Warner, big hole. What a move Warner made. Down inside the 10-yard line to the 7. What a nifty swivel hit move by Kurt Warner. Blackledge has not thrown a pass yet. Warner blocking to the 5, to the 4, and out of about the 3-yard line. As they've got three backs in there, Meade, Williams, and Warner, and the power high on second down from the 3. And here comes Meade. Gets down about the one. Check that. That's Williams. Power eye again. Coles is checked in now. Needed as a blocker. Warner as a tailback on third down. Warner lost the football. Picked up by Coles back outside the 10-yard line. And this will be from the 19 into the win, a 29-yard field goal try. Big deal here, whether Nebraska holds or not, because they have stopped Penn State with a third and one. And from 29 yards out is Penn State. On the board first, three to nothing. 29 yard field goal, 9.45 to go. First quarter, the Nittany Lions, underdogs, although third ranked in the country, three, and Nebraska will get the football for the first time.
We rejoin the action at the start of the second quarter with Penn State leading Nebraska 3-0 here on ESPN Classic. Nebraska had the wind at their back during the first quarter and had the ball only four minutes and two seconds. Second down at about seven to go. Mason has a football for just a little way. It's going to be third down and four. They had a chance to open up on their offense. And this is third down and about four yards. Ball just inside the 30-yard line. Mason back to his first throw. Gets it out to Jamie Williams. Williams on his way inside the 30. Being knocked down inside the 20-yard line by Paul Langford, who was possessed of four or five speed. If it's second quarter, different ball game. Penn State out in front, but here's Nebraska. First and ten. Deep in Penn State territory. Here's Roger Craig. Craig inside the 10. Down near the six or seven. And near a first down. Both wide receivers to the right for Nebraska. Craig goes in motion right. Bates goes straight up and has the first down. First down at about the five-yard line. Scott Woodard now in wide to the right. Craig down near the goal line. It'll be second down at the yard, a yard and a half. Pull back is Bates. High back is Craig. Second down. Craig. Touchdown. Gone in the second quarter. They lead the ball game by the score of seven to three. Big play, Mason to Williams, the touchdown by Roger Craig. With 8.37 left in the first half, Nebraska leads Penn State 7-3. But the Nittany Lions are looking to put points on the board as they have the ball on the Huskers' 31-yard line, facing fourth down and two. It will be a 48-yard field goal attempt, Rakowski holding. From 48 yards out, he has got enough foot. Flags on the play. It is good. He does. Driving steals back just to watch it. Never even hit in the end zone. But out of the end zone. Roziel, I said he has not been in the eye back. He is in there. Number 30. He's a sophomore out of Camden, New Jersey. That is Roziel with the football. It's a block, and then Langford takes him down at the 25 or 26 yard line. Second down and four from the 26. That lost the football again. Sefter, I believe, is on it. It was Roziel who lost it. That is Coles at fullback, and Williams at tailback. And that is Williams. Nowhere to go. Lost on the play. Absolutely the short side of the field. There's the second quarter. Blackledge is going to run it again. He's run this play before. And gotten about the same amount of yardage before. Third down. Blackledge has not hit on a pass yet. He's tried a couple. Going to try again. As a man, Jackson. Jackson runs into Lindquist, and they say no. Lindquist was behind Jackson. Franco from 39 yards out this time. Gets the ball up with enough foot, and he's got it. Three field goals for Brian Franco, the senior out of Altoona, Pennsylvania. And again, Penn State is on top, this time by a score of 9-7, to 6.26 left. Eddie Neal of Nebraska pulled the Cornhuskers ahead of Penn State by one with a 30-yard field goal late in the first half. So with the score now 10 to 9 in favor of Nebraska, let's get back to the action with 125 left in the second quarter. Kurt Warner, the deep man, anticipating not a deep kick because of the wind factor. Put it in the end zone. And let it go out of bounds. We'll have to kick it again from a 35. Strong wind gusting all the time. Very short again. Warner wants 
the football at the 16th drop. The football, now they got to recover. Blackledge has not been on target with his passing today. Those two times he has tried. There's me carrying the football and getting seven or eight, nine yards up near the 29-yard line. Where the ball is bouncing. And now Blackledge back to throw. Has all the time in the world. Delivers the ball. And it's off the hands of the intended receiver, Greg Garrity. Today, you would have to say that his performance has not been accepted. Not yet. Third down on the yard. Warner with the football. Makes one tackle. And knocked down by Jeff Preachy. What you have to do here, you know the defense is uh, thinking pass all the way. Penn State with split backs. It's a pass formation. Blackledge. Dumps the ball off to Warner. Warner steps around one good block. Warner drives from behind as he gets inside the 35. They'll call time again with 40 seconds to go. He catches the ball. Now from the 33-yard line. Blackledge delivers the ball, and it's caught! Touchdown, Kenny Jackson! What a catch between two men! And with 30 seconds to go on the half, a 33-yard touchdown pass to Kenny Jackson. For the two points, Blackledge rolling out, throwing, he's got his man for the two points, Joel Coles, and it is 17 to 10. Coles catches the ball, and this is the biggest lead of the day for Penn State. Well, in addition to the other turnovers. I go to kick off with the wind at his back. Rozier watches it go out of the end zone for a third consecutive time, and 11 times they've dropped the football. First down. Now our hands the ball off to Roger Craig. Craig is cut down after picking up a yard or two. Second down and eight. That's the eye back again. That is Craig. He's loose again. Across the 40 yard line. Bauer looking for his man. Giuseppe Harris. Older brother Pete was also a defensive back, and Franco, you know all about him. He was the oldest. First down, they're on the 37-yard line, and this is the desperation play. They'll try to stop the clock, but the clock shows that time has run out. Now our trying to stop it, but folks, that's the kind of football game it has been. It's not going to be that much of a mistake made uh, in the second half, and it's a truly exciting game between what I know are going to be two great teams. Welcome back to the second half of 1981's Penn State versus Nebraska. With Penn State still leading 17-10 early in the third quarter, Nebraska is facing fourth down and four on their own 26-yard line, right here on ESPN Classic. Punt made from the 16-yard line. Wynn holds it up. And that is what in a great spot here. Bates carries the ball inside the 25-yard line. Bates and Craig, your setback. Craig with the football. Craig near the first down, down to the 20-yard line. Brown in and left on first down from the 20. Bauer pitches the ball out to Craig. Craig going out of bounds inside the 15-yard line at the 13-yard line by Chet Palavecchio. Second down short. Nebraska driving to at least tie this game. Craig's got the first down. Craig now has 91 yards. Kurt Warner of Penn State has over 100 and has not touched the ball in his half. Mauer getting the ball. Has it made the touchdown. by Williams was covered by Nebraska and they quickly took it in and they tied up the game in three minutes and three seconds of the second half. Penn State never touched the ball. Nebraska never really drove. 
Brian Franco of Penn State pulled the Nittany Lions ahead of Nebraska with a 20-yard field goal just over halfway through the third quarter. With the score now, Penn State 20, Nebraska 17, let's get back to the game with 6.29 left in the third quarter. After they've driven it down there from their own 26, you can be proud of the defense. This time, Franco's kick goes into the end zone, and Steeles is going to bring it out. And there he goes. Steeles gets outside the 25. This is quite breaking. Bauer is back in. Bates carries the ball from the 27 to the 30, where Rich D'Amico that ties a Penn State record for the most field goals in a game, and this game is not over yet. First man through. Bates still on his feet and struggles, and they have the first down with a tremendous second effort. Wigwag signal, and taking the ball for the first down. his tailback, Kurt Warner, trying to get outside, got a good block, trying to run around Sammy Sims does, and Krejci knocks him out of bounds. But ran right past Sammy Sims, who had the angle. Jackson in motion, going the other way. Up man is Meade. Meade has got the first down. Across the 50-yard line, both wide receivers to the left. Count. That is Warner, who just hurdled a couple of men at the line of scrimmage. Penn State getting big yardage on first down on this drive. Warner again. What a move for the first down. A little bit less than 13 minutes left. 24-20, Nebraska. Penn State trying to move. Blackledge as Warner. Well, they say you can't make this time. They did not get big yardage on first down. It is second down and seven. Blackledge, fake, throws, has a man wide. Oh, 
Alpha, Matt McCloskey inside the five. First and goal to go. The tight end. Nebraska bunched inside the offensive line of Penn State. Power eye for Penn State. First and goal. Warner gets maybe a yard and maybe only the line of scrimmage. Second down. There goes the man for the touchdown, Joel Coles. And Penn State moves back out on top. A little misdirection, everybody kind of watching Kurt Warner, and Coles took it in behind the blocking of Mike Munchak. Hugo can only tie them if that's to be the case, and the extra point is good, and Penn State moves back out on top, 27-24. to What a ball game we are seeing here at Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. But they were training at the top. And they squib this kick, and it is picked up by the Nebraska up, and that is got Woodard. Halfway through the fourth quarter, Eddie Neal of Nebraska had a chance to tie the score with a 37-yard field goal attempt. But Neal's kick sailed wide left, and Penn State held on to their 27-24 lead. 7.43 now remains in the fourth quarter right here on ESPN Classic. Jim Simpson, Bud Wilkinson, first and 10 from the 20-yard line for Penn State. They want to keep the ball and run the clock down if they can. Give it to their good back. That is Williams carrying the football, and that is Brent Edmonds, who... Crowd quiet again. Here's Warner. Looks like he's got running room. He does. Breaks the tackle across the 40-yard line. All that speed still on his feet. He is going to go all the way unless Lindquist catches him, which he does. Lindquist catches him at the 19-yard line. That's O'Donnell in motion, and Coles barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Long count. First man through is Coles. And not much. Field goal is not what Penn State wants. It only put them six ahead. A Nebraska touchdown could beat them. Here's Warner down to the 15 yard line. A gain of a couple. This is fourth down, and it's time for a 32 yard field goal attempt by Franco, who gets it. That is a new Penn State record of five field goals, and it puts. Penn State up by six points. And you know what that means. Nebraska scores and kicks the extra point, and Nebraska wins the football game. And they have 454 in which to try to do it. Franco, I don't know if he knows that he's broken a Penn State record. There's a ball that's going to go out of bounds, I do believe, so I'll have to kick it off from the 35. On Franco, he has, looks like he's going to get it up in the air. No, he down the middle, and it's going to be tough to handle, but Rozier picks it up. Oh! Does he get a hit and gets away from that? Gets away from another. And Rozier goes down at the 37-yard line. Coder has been downfield on special teams. That time he made the hit, slowed him up, but couldn't make the tackle. Now we're back. Looking, has time. Has his man there. And it's picked up by Giuseppe Harris. Harris across the 40. The 50. This could be it for Nebraska. As the Harris youngest brother out of Mount Holly, New Jersey, makes the interception. 11 fumbles in the first half, one in this half, and that's what Penn State does not want to do and what Nebraska wants them to do. Williams, who fumbled twice on kicks, carries the ball. Four minutes and two seconds left. Second down, 11. You know they'll keep it on the ground, and they do. And down goes me. Third down with 10 and a half to go. Well, Nebraska gets it back. Ledge, flag is down, and he may have taken too much time. Yes, it is. He mm. gets the ball to water, and he hits from behind. Hit by Steve Dan Coger, Penn State. Here comes the rush. The ball gets away. This is fire. Watching the ball hit, and he picks it up at the foot. That's the football, and they have to start at the 13-yard line. What could be Nebraska's final possession, starting at their 13-yard line? 87 yards away. Roger Craig. Nebraska's got all three timeouts left. Penn State has two. I don't think a nitty lines at this point want to use any. 
Not till they get the ball. He's That's right. <laughs> now our looks has the up man, and that is Craig. And Craig has put down first down across the 25. Trying to now. Two minutes and five seconds to go. Now are throwing on nearly every play. Gets the ball out to the sideline, and Todd Brown catches it. Stops the clock at the 34. Both here's the eye back now. Second down yard to go. 158 left. Now are takes one way. Looking for Todd Brown. Home run ball for Todd Brown and overthrows everybody. Wind at his back. A little difficult to judge. Nebraska should lose today. Would be one and two for heaven's sake. Very unexpected. Craig, look out, he can turn it on, but there's a saving tackle there by number 17. So the clock shows 140 now and winding, but they can use a lot of time off the clock. They need a touchdown and an extra point to win this game. Our fakes, Meyer puts it up, and all by himself down on the sidelines, and it is intercepted. But out of bounds was number 32, Mark Robinson. I don't know how the receiver got as far open. They're playing two men back. Brown appeared to be open here. As Robinson came across, but uh, you can see that he had fallen out of bounds. Whether he had control of the ball, our game of the year, Bud Wilkinson. Those that you and I have seen, our game of the year. Now our hands the ball off to Craig, and Craig gets nowhere. A yard or two at two downs. They've got to take. It's third and long now. You know they'll take two downs to make the first. the ball under pressure. Mark Robinson tried to get it. Nebraska has not yet started its Big 8 conference schedule. Penn State, of course, is in the top. Here's the play of the game. Fourth down. Now we're back to throw. Now our throws and throws past Anthony Steele. And Penn State takes over with 1.14 to go. But you know they're not going to put the ball in the air. Believe me, they're not. Blackledge carries and Nebraska will be forgiven quickly. Second down and nine to go. And you can assume that Blackledge is going to do the same thing again, only this time he may go backwards. No, he pitches it back. And Warner loses it there. Well, I tell you what, after the Oklahoma Southern Cow game to be played later today. Blackledge taking his time, going down. And six seconds to go. He gets it away. And that should be the ball game right there as the ball goes into the end zone. Yes, it's into the end zone. And with seven seconds to go, Nebraska gets one last shot. Well, I tell you, Nebraska will too. It's a good football team. They've got five men playing center field as Bauer goes back on what could be the last play of the game. Brown down the sidelines, and the ball is up. Sideline for no good. Time is out. Ball game is over for the first time. Joe Paterno defeats his good friend Tom Osborne. Nebraska has lost two. Penn State will be at least number two in the nation. They were the underdogs, but with a tremendous fourth quarter comeback and the field goal kicking of Brian Franco, Nebraska goes down before Penn State. Final score, Penn State 30, Nebraska 24.